All right, folks, we are outside to test the drone now. Fortunately, it is a very calm, nice day in November, and I have my Aero Junkies friends over here flying their airplanes. This will be a good footage of uh, being able to videotape. Hopefully, some, some <laughs> planes in the air. I connected everything, but there are a couple of things I would like to point out. First of all, it, this doesn't have any optical flow positioning or ultrasound system. So this has altitude hold, that's probably through an integrated barometer inside. And it's very basic, even my Vizio had a SD card slot, it didn't have anything else, but you know that will give uh, me a chance to record the videos and pictures directly on the drone. This, on the other hand, is recording directly on the phone. So I'm going to take a couple pictures to start with, so that you can see the quality. Let me hold it and uh, while I'm trying to actually... So it took pictures, but somehow the pictures look really, I don't know why, zoomed in, it's like a, not a fisheye lens. Okay, I'm going to start video now. So let's see if it's going to have any dropped frames. So this is the video quality looking at me. Not very good, not very good at all. So I'm going to set it over here and start the motor and then go up. Okay, so it's drifting a little with the, with the wind, a slight breeze. And what happened to the video? So video took a couple seconds to catch up there were you know it is it is not it's frozen right now and it freezes up quite a bit so let's get it a little higher I'm just trying to see if the video is still recording right now it's recording again it's drifting a little bit and my friend is taking off over here friend Donovan let's see if he'll be able to Follow the takeoff of the plane, that will be fun maybe. So I'm going to set it to, this is the highest speed. I think I'm looking at the speed, yeah, this is the highest speed. And. You know, it's making it difficult to take any pictures, any videos that's going to be stable because it just drifts so much. And the video keeps cutting off from time to time. So if I let go, do you see it's like going forward because there's slight breeze coming from my back. I'm not sure if it's trying to do some stabilization because like electronically, not Okay, of course I'm not going to be able to follow that plane, but this is the fastest flight. So let's... And it's losing altitude, I don't know why. I'm trying to climb up. And I'm trying to come back. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. And it keeps losing altitude a little bit. And now it's keep gaining altitude. When I'm going forward, it loses altitude, it's not keeping the altitude. I don't know how the video is, but you can see it. It doesn't look good, it just keeps cutting off on my phone at least. I wish it had a micro SD card. And I'm going to get a little bit of uh, coverage of the, the planes and aero junkies. And also, it's too bad that. This looks like a zoomed camera, it's not like fisheye camera. Again, it keeps cutting off, the connection is not that good. So what I'm going to do now is... 
just land it. So it's coming towards me. All right. Let's put the land button. And I'm going to turn the camera a little down. So when it's high up, we can see it ourselves looking down a little bit like that. And let's fly again. The video should be recording, but I don't see I don't see anything. It is frozen right now. That's too bad. Wi-Fi say, says Wi-Fi disconnected. I don't know why the Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting. Okay, it, it's reconnected, I guess. All right, I have to go really high, I think, to get anything sensible, even higher. There are some planes flying, but now the camera is showing <laughs> the wrong part of the sky or the ground. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! A little airplane just crashed. Sad. I cannot even see myself on the camera now. I think I'm in the view. Yeah, it just... Let's land it. I think this is enough. I had enough of this. You know, what is the final verdict? It doesn't want to come down. Come on, come down. Come down. It takes a while for it to sink. It's not very agile at all. I mean, the wind is like probably one mile per hour or something, not as much. Donovan, no power. Zero. Oh. I got a trailer on it too. I got a rig Okay, on it. it landed. Uh, I'm not sure about this. If it were for $25, I would say, yeah, it's worth it. If this is going to be your first drone, go buy it and play with it. You know, uh, just give it to a kid. For $50, you can get better things. I mean, even my Vizio drone was better. It, was, it wasn't disconnecting that much. And it had a micro SD card slot, so... And it was plasticky like this one. I mean, I cannot really recommend this for $50. If it were like $25, $30, yes. I'm sorry. It just, uh, it'll be so pointing. And especially the camera. I mean, look. It is like showing all the... <laughs> Features on my face is so close and I'm like trying to hold it as, as far as, as possible and the I don't think the Quality is a uh, HD anyway like 720 no way no way I have seen 720 good 720 HD video This is not it. So I'm going to stop the video Yeah, I mean, uh, from time to time you get duds, so this is, I think, one of them. As a toy, it is fine, but, you know, $50 is too much for it. There are better drones, for example, from Holy Stone, about, you know, for the same price, maybe, maybe it was smaller. I did a review of, of 14 mini drones, and Holy Stone was a good one, and its transmission was better. I had reviewed the Tello, Rice Tello, uh, which I got from $100. And that was really, really good, the quality. So this one, it's a toy. And you can get something better for $50. Well, folks, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.